Eggs are one of nature's most amazing miracles and are usually laid by birds, fish, and lizards, but not mammals. Apart from those freaky platypuses, you might be used to your breakfast eggs, which come from hens. But every egg-laying animal has its own kind of egg, and some of them are truly astonishing. From the egg that's not an egg at all but another breakfast food, to the eggs that date back to prehistory. Here's the 20 most unique eggs in the world, too. <sighs> Number 20. Caesar's Mushroom Amantia caesarea is a well-known edible fungus of the genus Amantia that is endemic to southern Europe and North Africa. While Giovanni Antonio Scopoli was the first to describe it in 1772, this mushroom was a well-known favorite for the Roman Empire's early emperors. It's called a volo in Italian because it looks like an egg when it's young. The popular name stems from the fact that it was a favorite of the Roman emperors who gave it the title Caesar, which was a originally a family name, Claudius, the Roman emperor, had it as a personal favorite. This mushroom has an orange-red top that is hemispherical at first, then convex, then flat. In Mexico, it has long been consumed as food. It's served roasted with a hint of the herb epizote there. It may be found throughout southern Europe and North Africa, especially in the northern Italian highlands, because it is most commonly seen along historic Roman highways, it is assumed to have been brought north of the Alps by Roman legions. The Caesar's mushroom is closely linked to the hallucinogenic fly agaric, as well as the fatal toxic death cap and destroying angels, despite the fact that it's edible. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Dinosaur Eggs as far as we know, all dinosaurs, like most other reptiles, reproduced by laying eggs. Because just a few dinosaur embryos have been discovered within the ancient eggs, determining which species of dinosaur lay the eggs has proven to be challenging. Extinct dinosaurs and current birds, as well as crocodiles, the extant species most closely linked to dinosaurs, all hatch from eggs. Fossilized eggs and bones of young dinosaurs were exceedingly rare until the 1980s, but dinosaur eggs have now been discovered on multiple continents, and hatchling, juvenile, and adult fossils have been identified for most major taxa. In Montana, eggs, nests, hatchlings, juveniles, and adults were discovered in one death assemblage, or mass burial, alongside eggs, nests, hatchlings, juveniles, and adults. The eggshells in the nests were severely cracked, raising the possibility that the hatchlings smashed the eggs while roaming around the nest. Some paleontologists believe that this location was a nesting colony where adult dinosaurs looked for their young during the first few months after they hatched. In 1923, the American Museum of Natural History's trip to Central Asia included a stop to Mongolia's Flaming Cliffs, which was one of the voyage's highlights. It involves the finding of eggs that were initially assumed to belong to the dinosaur Protoceratops following preliminary examination. Number 18. Salamander Egg when you pick up a spotted salamander egg mass, it typically retains its form. Under the water surface, the eggs are commonly stuck to twigs, branches, and plants. Females of the genus Inobius lay their eggs in streams, which are encased in a transparent envelope known as an egg sac. The edges of the package shine a brilliant blue to yellow iridescent light that vanishes as soon as the sac is taken from the water. Salamanders have thin bodies, blunt snouts, short limbs extending at right angles to the body, and a tail in both larvae and adults, giving them a lizard-like appearance. Under the order Eurodila, all ten modern salamander families are placed together. Salamander diversity is greatest in the northern hemisphere with the majority of species located 
located in the Holarctic region, and a few species in the Neotropical region. Salamanders have four toes on their front legs and five on their back legs, however some species have fewer digits and others don't have hind limbs. Their porous skin makes them dependent on habitats near or in water, as well as other chilly, moist environments. Some salamander species spend their whole lives in the water, while others only go in the water on occasion, and yet others are wholly terrestrial as adults. They have the ability to regenerate missing limbs, as well as other injured body parts. Researchers seek to reverse engineer the extraordinary healing mechanisms for use in human medicine, such as treating brain and spinal cord injuries and reducing detrimental scarring during heart surgery recovery. Number 17. Common Blowfly the Californidae, sometimes known as blowflies, carrionflies, blue bottles, green bottles, or clusterflies, is a diptera insect family with over 1,200 species, gentles are the name for maggot larvae, that are commonly used as fishing bait. Although the family is polyphyletic, there is still significant debate over how to classify the constituent taxa, some of which are given family designation on occasion. The word blowfly is derived from an ancient English term for meat that has had eggs put on it, which was described as flyblown. The phrase blow was initially associated with flies in William Shakespeare's plays, Love's Labor's Lost, The Tempest, and Antony and Cleopatra. Blowfly eggs are generally yellowish or white in appearance, measuring 1.5 mm by 0.4 mm, and resembling rice grains when deposited. While the female blowfly usually lays 150 to 200 eggs every batch, she can lay up to 2,000 eggs in her lifetime. It takes roughly 8 to 12 hours for an egg to hatch into the first larval stage. Larvae develop in three phases, each of which is separated by a molting process. Temperature and species have a big impact on how quickly they grow and mature. The black blowfly Formia regina may go from egg to pupa in 150 to 266 hours at ambient temperature. Number 16. A Port Jackson Shark Egg Port Jackson is a city in the state of Louisiana. The female shark is oviparous, which means she lays eggs. The egg casing is a strong dark brown spiral that is 7 to 8 centimeters broad by 15 centimeters long. They are frequently seen washed ashore on beaches. When the female lays her eggs, the shark case is soft. She wedges the egg case into a rock fissure with her tongue, where it hardens and one juvenile shark emerges after 10 to 12 months. The Port Jackson shark may be found throughout southern Australia's coastal area, particularly the seas off Port Jackson. On a lighter grey-brown body, it features a huge blunt head with strong forehead ridges and dark brown harness-like patterns. The Port Jackson shark is a migratory species that migrates south in the summer and north in the winter to reproduce. It eats mollusks with hard shells, crabs, sea urchins, and fish. Number 15. Funnel Web Spider this large spider, reaching up to 2 inches 5 centimeters wide, has formidable fangs that point downward, unlike other spiders which have fangs that rest horizontally. And these are some strong, sharp teeth that can pierce a shoe or a human fingernail. In addition, the funnel web spite is accompanied with a severe dosage of venom. Funnel webs reside in little tunnels rather than webs, mainly beneath rocks or logs, or pretty much anything else piled up in your backyard shrub garden, where they love to terrorize unwary humans out placing their hands into any chilly, dark, and wet locations outside. A form of a regular funnel of silk that functions as a kind of trip wire can generally be seen in their burrows. The spider is out and ready to sink her teeth into whatever was foolish enough to stumble by as soon as she senses a vibration. A large number of funnel web spider eggs in your house is something you never want to witness. Number 14. The Zebra Shark Egg the zebra shark is a carpet shark species that belongs to the Stegostomatidae family. It may be found all across the tropical Indo-Pacific, mostly on coral reefs and sandy flats, down to a depth of 62 meters. Adult zebra sharks have five longitudinal ridges on a cylindrical body, a low caudal fin that is approximately half the length of the shark's body, and a pattern of black dots on a light background. The female zebra shark create dozens of enormous egg caps 
capsules, which they attach to underwater objects, including sticky tendrils. The egg case is dark brown to purple in hue, with hair-like threads that attach it to the substrate along the edges. The sticky threads emerge first from the female's vent, and the female circles vertical objects like reef outcroppings in order to entangle the strands and anchor the eggs. Over a 112-day span, females have been observed depositing up to 46 eggs. Eggs are deposited in four egg groups, and the wild reproductive seasonality is unclear. The eggs hatch in captivity after after four to six months, depending on the climate. Hatchlings are 20 to 36 centimeters in length, with correspondingly longer tails than adults. In the wild, their lifetime is believed to be between 25 and 30 years. Humans are not threatened by zebra sharks, which are docile and slow-moving, and may be approached safely underwater. Divers who tug on their tails or attempt to ride them, however, have been bitten. The International Shark Attack file has one instance of an unprovoked attack as of 2008, albeit no injuries were reported. Number 13. Cockroach Egg Female cockroaches create oothika, which are egg casings. Many eggs are contained in oothika, which are encased in a protein material that solidifies into a robust, protective shell over time. The egg case is dropped by certain cockroach species, while it is carried by others until the eggs are ready to hatch. The oothika of an American cockroach is dark brown in color and is 8 millimeters in length. In her lifetime, a female can produce anywhere from 6 to 9 oothika. The oothika is carried by the female American cockroach for a few hours to a few days before being deposited in a safe, hidden spot. The oothika of an American cockroach holds about 15 embryos and is held in place by the female saliva. Within 24 to 38 days, immature cockroaches emerge from the oothika. The oothika of the brown banded cockroach is pale reddish brown in color and is around 5 millimeters in length. This species' females may produce up to 20 cases in their lives, with each case hatching 10 to 18 embryos. Two yellow bands span the top abdomens of brown banded nymphs, identifying them. Within three to six months, nymphs mature into adults. Number 11. Giant Water Bug Eggs Giant water bug eggs, also known as toe biters, Indian toe biters, electric light bugs, alligator ticks, or alligator fleas, belong to the Balastomatidae family of freshwater hemipteran insects. Freshwater environments support around 150 species, including more than 110 in the Neotropics, more than 20 in Africa, almost as many in the Near Arctic, and significantly fewer elsewhere. Freshwater ponds, marshes, and slow-moving streams are common habitats for these predators. The eggs are frequently deposited on the male's wings and carried until they hatch in most Balastomatinae species. During this time, the male is unable to mate. Males devote a significant amount of time and energy to reproduction, whereas females actively seek out males to mate with. Water bugs are considered a delicacy in some locations and may be purchased in markets. The majority of this occurs in South and Southeast Asia. Large floating traps on ponds lit with black lights to attract the bugs are commonly used to gather them for this purpose. Adults, like many aquatic insects, fly at night and are drawn to light during the mating season. Season, fish, amphibians, and aquatic invertebrates, such as snails and crabs, are stalked, captured, and eaten by these violent predators. Baby turtles and water snakes have been caught and eaten by the biggest species. Number 10. Common Muir the form of a muir egg has long been considered to keep it from rolling off the ledges where the birds nest. But the truth may not be that simple. The brown flecked shell of a muir's egg, which can range in hue from a creamy white to a bright turquoise, has captivated humans for millennia. Muir eggs, on the other hand, have piqued people's interest because of their exceptionally angular tip, which is one of the most pointed in the avian kingdom. Naturalists theorized in the 1800s that the egg's design allowed them to spin like a top in the wind, preventing them from rolling off the muir's nesting ledges. That was eventually shown to be false. Then, in the mid-19th century, it was discovered that the egg's downward-angled tip aids in rolling in a tidy arc, just tight enough to prevent it from toppling into the breakers below. 
That view has remained the most popular and widely accepted to this day. A new theory consists of two characteristics, spaciousness and cleanliness. Because the Muir's nesting ledges are often small, up to 70 Muir's might occupy a square meter. There is a lot of trampling. Muir's are also clumsy flyers, which can force them to crash land on the nests of other birds nearby. The first possibility, says one researcher called Burkhead, was that the egg's shape protects it from impact. Surprisingly, he noted that the form of the Muir's egg places more of the shell in touch with the ground than a regular oval egg. He reasoned that the force of a collision would be dissipated over the eggshell surface, which is thicker in the region of the shell that meets the ground. Number 9. A Monarch Butterfly Egg Female monarch butterflies normally deposit a single egg on a milkweed plant, usually at the bottom of a leaf towards the plant's apex. Eggs are roughly the size of a pinhead or the tip of a pencil and are off-white or yellow in color, with longitudinal ridges running from tip to base. It takes around four days for the eggs to hatch once they are deposited. Females release a tiny quantity of glue as they lay their eggs, which helps to secure the eggs to the plant. Female monarch butterflies can produce 300 to 500 eggs over the course of two to five weeks, with a high of 1,179 eggs laid in captivity. Prior to fertilization, each egg is created within the female, including the hard outer shell, known as the chorion, which protects the growing larva inside. A coating of wax is applied to the inside of the shell to preserve the egg from drying out. Micropiles are small funnel-shaped holes on the end of the eggs. Because eggs build their hard shell before fertilization, these holes pierce all the way through the shell, enabling sperm to enter. The elevated portions of the eggshell are known as ridges, and they are developed prior to the egg being deposited. Prior to emergence, the black head of the growing caterpillar may be seen towards the top of the egg. Number 7. Golden Plover the European Golden Plover is a large plover that lives across Europe. The genus name comes from the Latin word pluvia, which means rain. Golden plovers were thought to congregate when rain was on the way. The European Golden Plover's wings are only slightly longer than its tail, making it a thick-set bird. The white S-shaped stripe that runs from its forehead to its sides is its most distinguishing characteristic. The European Golden Plover breeds on the Arctic tundra and other Palearctic environments, ranging from Iceland to central Siberia. From Europe to North Africa, it congregates in big flocks and spends the winter in open regions, agricultural plains, plowed ground, and short meadows. The eggs of plovers are a pale buff hue with modest black patterns and they are consistent in size and appearance. It takes around 28 days for them to hatch. Piping plovers typically deposit four eggs in a tiny cup-like depression on the ground. To prevent eggs from rolling out, they line their nests with tiny stones and put eggs with the thin ends facing toward the middle of the nest. Number 6. Lace Wing Eggs Green lace wings are members of the order Neuroptera's vast family Chrysopidae. This diverse group has around 85 genera and 1,300 to 2,000 species. Chrysopa and Chrysoperla are closely related genera that are highly abundant in North America and Europe. Because they are the most well-known Neuropterans, they are commonly referred to as lace wings. Green lace wings are small, fragile insects with wingspans ranging from 6 to 65 mm. Millimeters. with the biggest varieties being tropical. In their wing venation, which includes the cross veins, they have a large coastal field. In several species, the compound eyes are noticeably golden, while the bodies are generally bright green to greenish brown. The wings are transparent with a faint iridescence. Some have green wing veins or a foggy brownish pattern. Adults are nocturnal or crepuscular. Pollen, nectar, and honeydew are supplied by mites, aphids, and other tiny arthropods, and some species 
species, such as Chrysopa, are predatory. Others eat nectar and similar stuff nearly exclusively, and their digestive tracts include symbiotic yeasts that help break down the meal into nutrients. At night, eggs are laid individually or in small groups. One female can generate 100 to 200 eggs. Eggs are laid on plants, mainly in areas where aphids are plentiful. Each egg is suspended on a 1 centimeter long thin stalk, which is normally attached to the underside of a leaf. Number 5. Hawk Moth Eggs Hawk moths range in size from medium to big and are notable among moths for their agile and persistent flight ability, which is similar enough to that of hummingbirds to be mistaken for them. Their sleek abdomens and tiny wings are adaptations for fast flying. Pierre-André Latriel, a French biologist, named the family in 1802. Some hawk moths, such as the hummingbird hawk moth or the white-lined sphinx, are mistaken for hummingbirds because they hover in midair while feeding on nectar from flowers. Hummingbirds, some bats, hoverflies, and these moths are the only nectar feeders known to have acquired this hovering capacity. The hummingbird hawk moth is a species of hawk moth that may be found across Eurasia's temperate areas. The ova, eggs, are round and have a diameter of one millimeter. They are reported to resemble the flower buds of the host plant gallium, and the female is thought to lay them there. They hatch six to eight days after the egg is laid. A single female may lay up to 200 eggs, each on its own plant. Newly born larvae are bright yellow, changing to green coloring in the second instar. The larva is green with two gray stripes edged with cream on the sides and a sphinget like horn at the back end. The horn is purplish red in color with a blue and orange tip. Number 4. Peregrine Falcon The peregrine falcon is a predatory bird. It has a blue-gray back, barred white underparts, and a black head, and it's about the size of a crow. The peregrine falcon is known for its speed, reaching speeds of over 320 kilometers an hour, making it the world's fastest bird and the fastest member of the animal kingdom. The breeding range of the peregrine falcon covers geographical areas ranging from the Arctic tundra to the tropics. It can be found almost everywhere on Earth, with the exception of severe polar areas, very high mountains, and most tropical rainforests. New Zealand is the only major ice-free landmass where it is completely absent. This makes it the most widely distributed raptor on the planet. A pair of birds mates for life and returns to the same nesting location every year. Aerial acrobatics, precise spirals, and steep dives are all part of the courting flight. The peregrine falcon builds its nest in a scrap, which is usually found on cliff edges. The female selects a nesting location by scraping a small depression in loose dirt, sand, gravel, and or dead vegetation into which she will lay her eggs. The eggs range in color from white to buff and include red or brown patterns. They are incubated for 29 to 33 days, mostly by the female, with the assistance from the male during the day, but exclusively the female incubating the eggs at night. Due to the infrequent generation of sterile eggs and other natural losses of nestlings, the average number of young found in nests is 2.5, while the average number that fledge is around 1.5. Number 3. City Warbler Seti's warbler is a little brown bush warbler that may be found breeding in southern and central Europe, northwest Africa, and the East Palearctic as far as Afghanistan and northwest Pakistan. Both sexes are the same. The bird is named after Francesco Seti, an Italian biologist who lived in the 18th century. Because of its skulking behavior, this species is difficult to see. The males spend the majority of their time establishing territories throughout the summer. They spend very little time caring for the eggs or the young while doing this. Following that, the males frequently attract many females to their territory. Their song has a significant impact on breeding outcomes. The major egg-laying season in Europe runs from mid-June until the end of July. The nest is normally situated 30 to 45 centimeters above the ground in very dense foliage. 
The messy cup-shaped nest is lined with feathers, hair, and other finer material, and is formed from leaves and stems. It is exclusively constructed by females. The eggs are chestnut red in color and are deposited at daily intervals in the early morning. The clutch comprises of four to five eggs that are 18 millimeters by 13.9 millimeters in size. When the clutch is full, the female begins incubating the eggs, which hatch after 16 to 17 days. The female is primarily responsible for feeding and rearing the young. They fledge after 14 to 16 days, but the parents must continue to feed them for at least another 15 days. Within 30 days, the young are self-sufficient. SETI's warblers have two broods per year in Europe. When they are one year old, they begin to reproduce. Number 2. Assassin Bug Egg the order Hemiptera has a large cosmopolitan family of bugs known as assassin bugs. Large specimens should be handled with caution, if at all possible, since they may defend themselves with a painful proboscis jab. The eggs are cylindrical and elongate in shape, non-ornamented, brown in color, and have a light brown cap-like structure, with a funnel-shaped aperture in the center. The operculum and the main egg shell are the two sections of the egg. The total length of each egg is 2.0 to 2.3 millimeters. The surface of the primary egg shell is smooth. The veal is the cylindrical outer layer of the anterior appendage that is continuous with the main egg shell and has a diameter that is about equal. At the anterior pole, the veil folds inward to form a second layer which contains several honeycomb-like structures. The veil's job is to keep the growing embryo's humidity under control. Number 1. American Robin Shortly after returning to its summer territory, the American robin begins to reproduce. It is one of the earliest North American bird species to lay eggs, with two to three broods every breeding season from April to July. A clutch of three to five light blue eggs is incubated solely by the female. After 14 days, the eggs hatch, and the babies depart the nest two weeks later. For the first several days after hatching, the altricial chicks are featherless and have their eyes closed. The mother consistently broods the chicks while they are still small. When they're older, the mother will only worry over them at night, or when the weather is poor, earthworms, insects, and berries are given to the chicks. The adults gather and take away the waste, so it does not accumulate in the nest. Chicks are fed, then lift their tails to eliminate waste, which forms a solid white clump that is gathered by a parent before they fly away. The brood's chicks all leave the nest within two days of one another. The youngsters will follow their parents around and beg for food even after they have left the nest. Doesn't it sound a lot like human kids after they've moved out? What's your favorite egg in the world apart from Easter eggs? Which of these animals have you seen out in the wild? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!